Hi, so I got a lot of questions in my uh, Shein try on haul. Uh, if you haven't watched it, please do. Got some really good little, little pieces in that. A lot of questions though about what I do with my face routine. And I've gotten a lot of questions before about what is my updated skincare routine because I posted something a while ago, but that's not what I do right now. So here's the update get into it. So I thought I was gonna just show you the products, but since I haven't washed my face, guess who's about to wash their face on camera? Me. So the first thing I do is of course wash my face. And what I use is a facial cleansing gel. I bought it from Endure Imports and it has aloe vera in it. The key ingredients are aloe vera, which is great for moisturizing, high in vitamin B complex, folic acid, and vitamin C. It's got grapefruit and lime essentials, natural toners, and good astringents to help reduce the oiliness of skin. Honestly, if you get anything with some aloe vera in it, key. I think every time I've looked up a video on YouTube about facial cleansers, it always got some aloe vera in it. So please find a facial cleanser that works for you with aloe vera. I'm gonna use it with my eco top, eco, having a stroke <clears throat> let's try that again what i use to wash my face is this eco tools scrub brush look how cute that is just i just i love that i put like maybe a dime size amount on here and then we get to scrub i'm not in front of the sink i'm going to spray my face with some water oh okay let's get into it Okay, she's wet. Anyway, so now I'm just gonna pour a little, little, do you see that? Not too much, maybe a little more. And that's the amount I put on. Can you see it? It's like a little circle. And now we get to scrub it. Not too much, but just enough to get you a nice layer of suds. I don't go into my eyes, I just, Go close to my eyes, under the eye, and we get to scrub it. Sometimes I even get underneath my neck. Cause you never know. Gotta clean everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Well, I do this for about 30 seconds to a minute of just gentle scrubbing. Looking back at the video, it doesn't look like I was scrubbing my face gently, but I was scrubbing it gently, y'all. And then I went to my sink and I rinsed off my face. And I'm now using a towel to dry it. Try to make it a clean one. Uh, that way you're not re -dirtering. That way you're not re dirty re -dirtery. That way you're not reapplying dirt on your face. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> now we move on to my toner. And we're back with Endear Imports. Citrus Twist facial toner. This is what I use after I wash my face. I'm gonna get a little uh, cotton swab. I'm gonna drench the top of it and then just go over my face, I'll show you. I hate when I run out of things that are just a quick pickup from the store. I'm gonna use a Charmin tissue instead today. No cotton swabs, baby girl, baby girl. Just gonna, here, go like that. Now I emphasize Charmin because a Charmin tissue not gonna shed like that. And then th that's with the toner application. Now for those of you who don't know, you use the toner after you wash your face because it restores your pH balance after the washing. Now we get into the serums. Now, usually for my serums, I go for Old Faithful, The Ordinaries, Niacinamide, or the Hyaluronic Acid. Um, I use both, these are AM, PM serums. So I'll maybe use the hyaluronic acid during the day, the niacinamide at night, keep my skin under dose, you know what I'm saying? The niacinamide is a vitamin rich formula that helps with blemish control and the hyaluronic acid helps with hydration. But instead of using that, I have been using recently the Malay Dark Spot Control Serum. As you can see, a bitch has been using it. You know what I'm saying? This has niacinamide in it, vitamin E, or was it C? It has one of the vitamins in it. And it has a pro-retinol in it as well. And it got rid of some of my, I, these were mad dark before. And now look, they're kind of fake. They fade away. <laughs> look at God. What I do first, cause you have to shake it up well. 
Okay, shook it up. Now, the syringe is mad cool because when you untwist it, the syringe goes up and takes out some of the formula for you without even doing without even doing anything. Just super impressed by that. And then we just pour out, pour out. I do a little bit in the center, do a little bit right here. All, I just make sure all of it comes out of the syringe. Put it back, that's all you'll need. Ooh, it's dripping. Just closing my shit up. And that's all you'll need. Now we rub in. Mm-hmm, lightly, lightly rub in under the eyes, use your ring finger since you're more gentle with your ring finger than your middle. And always move the, to me, I always move the products up. Honey, we're trying to get rid of wrinkles. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to keep the skin nice and taut. Nice and taut, okay? And this is what the application looks like. You don't gotta put in a lot on. That's all I put, I put on whatever that syringe takes out. Okay? Now, to lock in this serum, I use the Ordinary's 100% Virgin Marula Oil. Now, I was getting my Marula Oil from Endura Imports, but it was $25 and that was too much. So I went to look for an alternative and the Ordinary had one. This basically like seals in your serums. Like you know how when you're doing your hair and you put in all your products and you put in the oil to seal in the products and the moisture? Virgin Marula Oil, okay? That's what this does. It basically adds an extra barrier while also making your skin look super healthy and it helps with antioxidant support. Yes, I just looked that shit up. You don't have to put a lot on because a little goes a long way. Like you see that, that's still a little too much, but that'll do. Key areas, we're gonna get the forehead too. Cause mama got a big one here, I'm gonna do the chin and we're done. Now I'm just gonna rub it in. Real gentle underneath the eyes. Always remember, be gentle underneath the eyes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Remember, up, up. Cause we want our faces to be up for a long time. Now, you know how people been using those busha, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, those busha tools that you be pressing back to really get your skin where it needs to be. I'll be doing that with my hands sometimes cause I haven't ordered it yet. I just go like this and just push my skin back. To take the knuckles, push it back. Push my push my skin back. You know what I'm saying? This is what the side of my chin looks like. Yeah. I'm certain I'm, I'm definitely probably gonna get a guisha tool later. Just because I like the idea of just keeping my skin nice and, you know, tight. You know what I'm saying? That's a toy. And if you're feeling frisky, cause I did buy some new stuff. I have a jade roller. Now this was in my refrigerator. Keeps it nice and cool. And I just, ooh. I used the big part for my, oh God, that feels so good. Pushing the skin back. Mm -hmm. Now we use the bottom one underneath the eye. Use a little one underneath the eye. That feels, that feels, Fan fucking tastic. If I, I don't want to hype it, but that feels fan fucking tastic. Just that cold up against my skin, baby. You know it'd be hot here. And I do my, do right here. Go back in with the under eye one more time. Another another roll through. Just because it feels good, and you deserve. You know what I'm saying? You deserve to feel good, especially while you're doing your skincare. And we are all done. This is my updated skincare routine. These are the products that I use. It's what works for me. And I'm not an expert on skincare. I just be looking up YouTube videos like it's my job and I figured out what's best for me because I wanted something to remove my dark spots. I wanted something to hydrate my skin. I wanted my skin to look moisturized, plump, fantastic. And these are the results. This is what my skin looks like. Baby for this skin. Okay, and that's my routine. If you have any recommendations for me, please let me know. Um, I still kind of get some unevenness here. I could be wanting to try some new products soon. Maybe my skin, if my skin gets too used to this, I'll probably be venturing out. So please, in the comments, give me what you know works for you. Give me what is your go-tos. Let me know what masks y'all use. Like I use the um, Aztec clay mask like once a week. 
uh, with a little apple cider vinegar and that clay mask. I use that once a week, love that. Uh, but you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Cause the people wanna know, people want clear skin. I'm all about doing a makeup look, but sometimes I just wanna pop out like this and be cute. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, leave the comments below. Let me know what you think. See y'all. Mm. Baby, have a drink with me,